Oh, we can ride trolleys. That is so cool. Old man, you better not be taking photos of... Oh. What an interesting hobby. This is Pokemon Snap for Furberts. RGG Studio, what are you guys smoking? Please invite me. Yakuza is really the king of minigames, being able to come up with his fun gameplay mechanics. And it's just for a sub-story. <laughs> oh my gosh, my bike! Quick, time for it, Ichi! Ah, bike power! Crazy, it's... I earned 20 grand for you guys. And 30 bucks is all I get? Uber Eats is a scam. So, after I landed in Hawaii, I kinda explore a bit, and I think I'll level up too much. I mean, I just couldn't help it, guys. The turn-based combat for Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is too good. And I think it's addicting. I've never had so much fun playing a turn-based game. The last game that I played that I really liked the turn-based combat was Persona 5. I think for Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, RGG Studio mastered the turn-based combat for the 3D environment. Now, because I leveled up too much, I can now do this. Yep, RGG Studio implemented an insta-bit mechanic. That is so convenient. And again, it reminds me of Persona 5 with Ryuji's confidence skill. More JRPG games should use this mechanic, the instabit mechanic, as it lessens the grind and makes the game more fun and rewarding, right? So this segue explodes? No, they don't! Alright, bet! So, what do I win? Ooh, you done goof up now! Ah, Ichiban's vintage kindness being able to sway even his enemies. I like the contrast here provided by both Ichiban and Kiryu in persuading Tomizawa. While Ichiban used compassion to urge Tomizawa to do the right thing, Kiryu back it up with conviction. Two different philosophies that mix well together to preach a better ideology. I might have overleveled a bit. Oh, we get mini bosses. This is such a cool concept. I remember having to deal with Mr. Shakedown in Yakuza 0. They were challenging, but fun. This mini bosses also felt that way. So let's say that you overleveled a bit, right? This mini bosses offers enough challenge and the rewards are worth it. RGG Studio nailed Hawaii as an area for the Yakuza games. And despite it being their first attempt at a foreign area outside Japan, I can say that they invested all of their resources to make Honolulu City feel alive. You can greet people, throw them a shaka, hearing the NPCs talk about food, sightseeing, their tours, their their reservation, and the numerous stores that are hospitable enough to let you buy stuff. But they don't allow you to enter because that's too much hospitality. One more thing that made Hawaii felt alive are the goons trash talking in English. In the Yokuza series, the enemies would often curse at Kiryu. But it didn't feel agitating since it's in Japanese. So they often yell, Kuzo! Or when they yell, Deme! It feels like they're just imitating voice lines from a dated shonen anime. But here in Hawaii, hearing these punks call you dip is enough to stop me on my tracks and turn them sideways. Maybe that's why I overleveled. Taste my friends! Ooh, nice! A parade! Let's join them! <laughs> Guys, this parade sucks. Okay, that was ruthless. Barracuda is intimidating, and they double down on their infamy by these types of thuggish crimes. Granted, Mini's head gift was horrifying. I'd say this one from Barracuda is a notch above in terms of gruesomeness. It's good that we can now see the chatter on the map, and we can even do other things while talking to them. Makes it more rewarding and less time-consuming. Did Jep just transition from English to Japanese? 
wow, that is cool actually. I wasn't really hoping for RGG Studio to go that far in making sure that the NPCs talk in two languages, but they did it anyway. I know it's weird hearing the majority of the side characters talk in Japanese here in Hawaii, but making them bilingual made it more special. Honolulu City is becoming the best area for Like a Dragon games. Oh, so Chitose works for Poundmates. Wait, that's not my Chitose. She's cooler! You know what, Ichiban? Having the same name in the Yakuza series is so common. So you better be thankful she wasn't named Makoto. Oh, Poundmates works differently now. They stay for three turns. That's definitely worth the money now. That's nice, the game acknowledges if we have more than 30 bucks. I guess RGG Studio predicted that players would enjoy grinding after stepping to Hawaii. They say that headshots are satisfying. I think lining these goons in a single pile and hitting them in one go is more satisfying. Today's my fa- So Chitose went to District 5 after duping Ichiban. Alright, time to go there then. <laughs> Jeez, talk about tragic backstories. Losing your wife is sad, but the death of your unborn child would hit any parent even harder. RGG Studios' writing department must smell nice. After cooking all of these, what peak satisfaction looks like. Quick guys, grab all the chairs and beat up Roman. Ichiban grew to love his apron now. <laughs> That's really cool. I mean, I do remember that he really loves his sperm. Sperm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't mean it that way. Anyway, Tomizawa receiving a nickname means that he is now a certified Ichibro. Life is written in a single stroke of brush. That quote goes hard. I bet the writing department was on fire when they wrote that. Now those are awesome words to live by. Write it, hang it in the wall. Look at it every day. That's how you should live your life, guys. So that's how Kiryu got his cancer. I always suspected that he would get it from smoking. Cleaning up radioactive waste in Japan is a huge thing. And it is true that older people would often volunteer in an effort to save the younger generation from volunteering, of course for the sake of Japan's future. Kiryu volunteering is deeply engraved in his culture and personality. RGG Studio is really twisting the knife for Kiryu. The man has suffered so much. I really hope that this game ends on a happy note for Kiryu. Okay, in fairness for Ichiban, he is tired of losing people that he idolizes. While well, Kiryu has accepted that death knocks on all doors. This really puts a perspective on how each character is perceived based on how exposed they are to the underground world. Ichiban, knowing Kiryu's tenacity, accepted his decision, albeit with a shade of concern, while Tomizawa is still unsure and worried about Kiryu. What the frick is that thing? Okay, maybe I'm not overleveled. Holy whales, these mini bosses are scary! So Chitose ran away from home and wants to leave in this dump. I mean, who would even think of, I know what to do with my life, I want to become a homeless person. You and Chitose have a thing? Sure dude, sure. And I'm the illustrious murder clown? Could I interest you with one cup of today's my fist? Okay, this place makes more sense as to why Chitose wanted to go to Barracuda. And fake luxury items being sold in shopping malls? Now this will create a conspiracy in my head and will make me stop from buying branded stuff. You just cut Roman in half, what the frick? Do it again. Yeah, I don't believe in any of this. Ichi, don't trust Chitose. Ichi. With the improvements they have made for the dungeons here in Like a Dragon Infinite 12, it seems that RGG look into the reviews and focus on making the game, well, even better. The dungeons has always been one of the weaker aspects of Yakuza Like a Dragon. And seeing how much the dungeon crawling got improved in this game means that RGG Studio is one of the game developers you can trust. A dying race, so we better keep them safe. Holy whales, that's Danny Trejo! <gasps> you know what, Ichiban? We should try making you a celebrity. Maybe then, Seiko will like you. Tommy, that 
is cold. He just rank up in the list of amazing Like a Dragon characters. <gasps> oh gosh, Ichiban, this is your chance to become a movie star. Okay, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can... We are dead. We are dead. Old man, maybe just use CGI. Okay, being a movie star didn't work out. Maybe let's start at becoming a TV star first. Who's this dude? And why does he have a tattoo about the parent-teacher meeting? And I'm kind of hard to make kanji right now. Is that mosquito insecticide? This is an obvious choice. Of course, I'll get the most delicious meal. So we'll go for the Kaluwa pig. Oh, so they want the stereotypical answers. Yeah, I won't give them that. <laughs> Who would wear that in this day and age? Give me that umbrella. Why are they so disappointed? <laughs> they are really letting Ichiban know that they are disappointed with it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? Okay, I mean, alright. Oh, I mean, well, she took the darts. It's only shurikens. Yeah, <laughs> even the choices. It's only shurikens. This game is cheating. Of course. Of course, we couldn't even hit the board. <laughs> can't. This is, this is, oh gosh, I can't. This sub story is killing me. All right, Ichiban, maybe we have to give up on this path in becoming a celebrity. Ichiban, we have to face reality here. We'll never get you a girl. <gasps> Ichi, this, oh, oh my gosh, this is your chance. Ichi, don't mess this up. Ichiban, 